I read this article. Employers seek overseas applicants for tradie jobs in Adelaide. The article starts with, Younger generations not wanting to get their hands dirty, combined with outsourcing of manufacturing offshore, has left Adelaide industry struggling with a skill shortage, employment experts say. This has led to a number of trades struggling to fill jobs as businesses look to overseas workers to fill vacant positions. In the description box below, I'll include that article and an article about Canada's fake labour shortage and another one about America's fake labour shortage. However, I've been hearing this since the 1980s. The idea that young people are so entitled that we need to look over overseas for labour Back then, there was a joke. A job seeker's in an interview, and the interviewer asks what the job seeker wants from the company to consider working there. The job seeker replies that he wants $80,000 and a company car. The interviewer replies with, how about a corner office, personal assistance, and a high-end car? The job seeker exclaims happily, you're joking! And the employer comes back with, yes, but you started it. Why do young people have these expectations? because that is what they are encouraged to want. I remember being told that if I didn't want to work in a factory, I had to do well in school. I remember hearing a teacher tell a student that they should try harder at school because then they could become a lawyer or the prime minister. I went to a technical school, but even there, this rubbish was alive, and that was 30 years ago. Of course, the problem isn't young people, it is the disconnect between government, schools, and what skills are really needed in the real world by employers. And they are all to blame. The government treats schools and the workplace as totally separate things that should never have anything to do with each other. Schools do not pe teach people to get jobs or to keep them. Employers always want someone else the taxpayer, to finance the skills that they need to run their business. This is allowed because our economy is an open economy. In a closed economy, only those people in the economy could participate in it. In an open economy, people from all over the world can participate. This means that the locals are discarded in favour of foreign workers, instead of taking the unemployed or the disabled as workers. The call is always that the local worker cannot or will not work, that they are lazy and a drain, which implies that the employer and the foreign workers are performing a patriotic act by replacing them. Of course, the reality is that employers like foreign workers because they can pay them less, sometimes much less. Secondly, the foreign worker is in a servant relationship to their employer. They will often put up with terms and conditions that a local worker would not tolerate. The labour shortage lie is a rebellion by employers against high wages and regulations. They seek to find a way to get around these things. In a closed economy, they couldn't because they could not get foreign workers into the country, nor could they export that labour. In a real labour shortage, like during the world wars, Everyone with a heartbeat is drawn into the economy. Unemployment ends. Women, minorities, the disabled are all employed as much as possible. We do not have those conditions. Therefore, we do not have a labour shortage. And if we did, higher wages are what draw people into employment. Labour shortage? Lies. Lies. Always lies.